Uh, up first, I have Simple History number 11. Um, I've been a big fan ever since issue one of the Simple History zines. It's like the best zine out there, in my opinion. I love it. It's all They're all educational, teach you a little bit of something. This one's all about the interstates. You know, we got a lot of roads that go back and forth from city to city. How did they get there? Who decided where they would go? Who decided how to name them? Who decided which ones would be how many lanes? Uh, it's actually a pretty complicated and many years long process, um, which I've never thought about until reading this. So it's sort of interesting. Um, it's not my favorite issue of this zine. Um, I like some of the other ones more, but that being said, I read it cover to cover because I love this. Jay sent this to me himself. Um, it's just lots and lots of good reading. You can get it from him or it is uh, printed and distributed by Microcosm Publishing. Um, I'm really happy. I, I told him, I remember clear back, I'm like, dude, you need to find someone to just print these for you so you can just write and that seems like that's what's going on because he's just churning them out so it's super cool uh four dollars you should check it out it's very very awesome i love the simple history surface area number two so i didn't know this until buying this but apparently this is the same people that used to do peel magazine so peel magazine used to be like a street art graffiti magazine uh, mostly focused on stickers so uh when the economy tanked a few years ago they kind of gave that up i guess but now they're kind of getting something new going so I, I didn't catch issue one but this is issue two um it's it's all about stickers it's all about graffiti it's all about pop art culture whatnot um, if you're into any of that kind of vandalism or pop art or lowbrow art or things like that, if you're if you draw stickers, you should get this. It was five bucks, and they sent me like a whole pack of stickers along with it. Um, I'm super super pleased with it. It's got a bunch of interviews with various artists. It's got some. It's in black and white. It's glossy paper, so it's, it's sort of like semi pro, semi halfway between a zine and a magazine um but if you're into street art or graffiti uh for five bucks you can't go wrong drop target uh, i got this from uh, well it was all right quick little history there was microcosm Pub publishing microcosm publishing they're all fighting so they split up some of the people will start microcosm distribution so i got this from microcosm distribution microcosm distribution is now called pioneer press so there is no more microcosm distribution there's microcosm publishing they do their thing there's pioneer press they do their thing so i got this from pioneer press um drop target it's all about <laughs> i got a couple different issues it's all about pinball it's all about pinball pinball games pinball machines how to play them fake imaginary made up pinball games um different you know the history of pin like each, each issue is different each issue has a different theme and they got a few different issues uh, on their website that are for sale um some are about the manufacturing of pinball machines some are about like strategies of how to play different uh moves which i've never i love video games and i i enjoy pinball i'm not a huge pinball person but i never really thought about there being moves um but this proved me wrong <laughs> there are moves there are pinball moves, different ways to pass, different ways to like get the ball where you want it. Um, mostly, I just love weird subcultures, and apparently there is a huge subculture of people that are way into pinball games, and I think that is awesome. So uh, I totally, I totally enjoyed this this issue. Screen printed cover, that's pretty nice. It was five bucks. This is issue number four, uh, which is all about, like I said, moves. Um, but there's a lot of other issues, so check it out. Uh, when I ordered from Pioneer Press, they threw this in for free. This is called Revolution Summer. Um, I don't know if Pioneer Press does this. It says it's printed by Herbivore Books uh, back in 2008. But this guy, Josh Hooten from Portland, uh, wrote this. Um, it's all about bikes and bike riding. Specifically, uh, a couple different, uh, like, very long bike rides so i guess there's like some big ride that happens every year where people ride from seattle down to portland so this is all about him partaking in that and then it's got some other bike related stories um not really any pictures just all text if you're into bikes if you're into long bike rides um i uh, the thing that i uh, the reason i related to this is that i'm i love riding bikes but i'm not like an expert um but Josh, although he knows a lot more than me, I wouldn't classify him as like an expert. Like he was very much writing from the standpoint of, I've never ridden 200 miles. Let's see if my body can do this, um, which I could relate to because I was like, cool, like 
I don't know if I could ride 200 miles. Maybe I should go try. Uh, it reminded me of Next Stop Adventure, which is another zine that I totally love, uh, which is has a lot of bike riding. Um, if you're into bikes, if you want some tips and tricks and hints on how to ride your bike a long distance, uh, this has stories about that. Revolution Summer. I think it's just a one-time thing. Uh, so check it out. I, think, I don't know what it would cost. Three or four dollars. Uh, up last, up finally, Murder Can Be Fun. So, Murder Can Be Fun is one of those zines that, like, everybody always said was the best zine ever. And everybody was like, oh, have you read the new issue? And this, is, like, goes back to the 90s. I thought it was only in the 90s, but some of them, I guess, were done in the 2000s also. Um, but this dude, uh, John, I think is his name, from San Francisco, used to write this. And I would always hear about how great it was. I'd read reviews for it. For some reason, I never read it. I don't know why. I like I saw the boat and then I missed it. I don't know. Um, so I finally decided to pick this up. I got this also from Pioneer Press. Um, they've got several issues. I ordered just to give you an idea of what I think of the scene. I ordered a couple issues and then I went online and ordered the rest of the issues that they had for sale. Um, this indeed is a great fucking zine. It's amazing. Um, each issue it has a different theme. Okay, so for example, issue 17, which I was like one of my favorites that I got, is called Naughty Children. So it's all about children who have killed people. Children who have killed their parents, children who have killed other kids, um, children who have in general been bad. Um, and it's not like current, modern. I know there's a lot of kids that kill people now, but I kind of appreciated that this is actually, like this This one is Naughty Children, 1640 to 1960. So it's like all these old school you know, stories about kids killing people. Um, I'm not endorsing that kids should kill people, but they do, and it's interesting to read about. Um, I got this other one, issue 20, uh, sort of has like a whole bunch of different stories, including um, stories about people dying at Disneyland. Uh, issue 18 I got was Sports Thrills, which is all about people dying while playing various sports, while watching sports, uh, soccer riots, things like that. Um, it's It doesn't endorse murder, it, but it also doesn't really like condemn it. Like He writes from a really interesting standpoint where like he'll constantly say stuff where you kind of like laugh at the irony of what he's talking about and then you're like I really shouldn't laugh at that cuz someone died um so it gives you like this funny weird mix of feelings um but he he pretty much just like researches like he does a lot of research you can tell he's written written like ton or ri read tons of different books and all these different articles that have been written um and he like researches it really well he's just recounting stories that that we have you know, maybe forgotten. Uh, yeah, super, super highly recommended. There's a reason everyone always told me this is a great zine. It is. If you're going, if you're going to read one zine, read this one. All right, uh, that's it. Thanks.